tough decisions will have to be made in this recruitment special we as you can see have a very small budget and we've got to sign 12 players so what i'm going to definitely do from the get-go is regretfully reduce this as much as possible with the intent of boosting it next season um, gradually back up again just to give us the max amount of budget to sign as many players as possible so you'd be interested to know how all the international players are gone fred sullins made a positive start didn't pick up a contract in the english county this season we kind of annoyed with that but he's made a good uh test match start average of 60.29 for the season neil lewis got a few opportunities um still got to learn at the level couple of uh 50s for snow well the 150 and he's got a couple of 50s in the tw uh, 20 over and the one day internationals so foxcroft did he get any time for new zealand got four test matches um a solid respectful return of 250s average of 37.5 shane williams williams was very good 22 wickets at 26.68 a couple of wickets in the one day internationals one wicket in the uh 20 over internationals there uh, we've got the experience of tim k as well he's didn't do so good there but yeah more importantly there's no one really in the youth that we can pick up okay so we'll pick up the bowl we'll pick up hall we'll give him a three year deal i thought hall was starting to get a wee bit better towards the last season jacob bickerton's an ongoing project so he'll be another three year deal probably looking to sign probably maybe liddell possibly again we'll have a wee think about that vulture will definitely pick up a contract three year deal max turner will definitely pick up one as well for three years taylor i'm gonna have a wee think about uh just to see how much budget we've got remaining cox we'll see if we can pick up jeffrey cox um hopefully no one signs him up uh glenn phillips will go to a one-year deal just because the salary is reducing every season if we can lower the salaries it'll be quite nice so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six players in. It's going to be very careful with the budget. I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, say to Cox and Taylor, if you're still there, if you haven't been picked up by anyone else, that's who we'll go with. We want to retain the core of the side. That's the key. So, yeah, uh, we've got a wee bit of budget to play with. 162000 for six contracts. We'll be back with some signings. this was very very tough um we could not find too many players that i favorably liked but we have picked up a youthful player in jim cochran uh just brilliant um big hundreds there a few little 50s in there as well i think he's got a wee bit of potential this lad just his second 11 three day form 58.09 the average 45 with the one day average and 29.08 there so we'll go a bit further down we have gone with a bit of a risk in simon armstrong a couple of handy 50s there he'd be a sort of a lower order batsman at the moment that fifer um does sound promising he'll be developmental probably for a couple of seasons at the very least so we're gonna gamble with a couple of signings there see what else has been picked up have any of our players um that i want like cox and taylor if i can pick them up on to anyone else so we're just having a wee look no, okay that doesn't look like they have signed anything there we're just going to see the youth um here and we'll be back with more signings guys okay so we've gone with a focus here of signing a very cheap overseas player uh jerome barrett um he's just a specialist at t20 level Gu guana uh and a pretty good career 250s 200s there be interesting to see how he performs here he's going to be the main overseas player for this season our intention is to sign a reserve overseas player so that's the only player we're going to get in this round here has anyone else been picked up cox got picked up for wellington so we fortunately will say goodbye to cox he is a wee bit probably out of our price range as is taylor's still there available for us which is good but yeah we'll be back with another round of contracting guys okay so we've gone with this a reserve overseas player i don't know if you'll get any game time but john james simpson from ireland um a couple of nice 50s there he's, he's probably not going to get any game time anyway but good to see him get a wee bit of um, a go down under possibly so we will sign him and marcus taylor has been picked up for central district so we're not going to get him back 
but we've got a wee bit of budget left at the very least to maybe get a couple of really decent players. So you guys will be back with probably two more signings and that'll be us. Okay, to round out hopefully the team, we have taken a wee bit of a chance here, but um, you'll see why. We've picked up uh, a guy called Moon. 52.6 is average in second three-day cricket. 86 wickets at 27.77. His numbers shape up pretty good, 44.92, 25.17, and 39.95, 19.8. But yeah, just looking at his uh, career, solid, a lot of 50s there for Scott Moon, uh, and obviously can do a wee bit with the ball as well, Three for a couple of threefers, or twofers, we'll develop his bowling there. And a life-like -like replacement, I reckon, like Jeffrey Cox is gone, but this guy's been around the scene for Albert Bentall, 1550s, 700s, 1950s, 200s. Just had to get a bit of an experience replacement. He's been around the block for Northern Districts and Wellington. Some modest and good numbers there. So, yeah, hopefully we get these both these guys in. And that's our squad. We've managed to pick up the team that I want. So, lost Cox and Marcus Taylor. Yeah, not uh, Cox hadn't really performed, and Taylor was sort of there or thereabouts. So Barrett and Simpson, they won't probably get too much game time. Like Barrett will be there, if, say for example, oh Jerome Barrett will get an opportunity if, say for example, got a few injuries. But I, I like the look of this team. It's starting to shape up quite nicely. We've got a lot of players on contract, uh, so hopefully that counts as something. Pretty exciting season up ahead. So we'll start off with the Plunkett Shield game, the second game of the season. So smash the like button, share with a friend, and hopefully enjoy the recruitment special.